and what is going on YouTube. It's just another gaming channel here, bringing in just another game, or just another video game, or a video of a game. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'm going to have to really stop doing that shit, don't you think, fellas? I am taking the piss out of those that have intros and outros, <laughs> so I shall now have an intro and outro. Drake's Promise? Is it Drake's Promise gameplay? Ooh, the Drake's Promise. You know, I better check that while I'm thinking. I try it out a little bit and then realise that um, someone told me I had like head seeking capacities, but I'm using Void Walker build here. Look at that energy drain. See, miles go back up, two nades out, nades are refilling, energy is refilling, and Bob is your uncle. Is he your uncle? It's certainly mine. So Drake's Promise gameplay and the Shadow Price. So, you know, I think I swap over for the to the Drake from the Drake's Promise to something else on this game. Uh, it's my first time I got it, I was trying it out. I never had any of these weapons in year one, so yeah. I'm getting shot from all which way, it's getting shot from behind and then BAM straight into a a Titan's lightning grenade. So that was us one. Spawn at sea, go foot cap. See, oh, a teammate's actually stopping my flag with me. See, another blue dot next to me. I can't believe it. I can barely believe it. And a third. And the only reason they camped that is because they know I nearly had it. Teammates are like, oh, screw this. If if a, if a cap's not even if a cap's been neutralised, they won't get on it. See, oh, see, did I get that kill? I did get that kill. Just see, that was just lag there, weren't it? So I locked onto him. I'm bursting him, and the arrows take some time. Um, I think I swap over to a shotgun or a sniper. Um, and I must admit, you know, you know, sometimes when I own people or whatever, you know, it's not as nasty as um, Black Ops community, but most people will run. Most players that are on top at leaderboards in Destiny run shotguns and shotguns only, or snipers, and they'll just use snipers as like shotguns, or they'll just stand at back at map and just pick people off, and. Um, Running around with just a shotgun to me seems like you're lacking some skill, my friend. Um, if you have to rely on close quarters overpowered shotgun that has no, you have no counter to it. Like you get in someone's face with a counter, you get in someone's face who's got a shotgun, you can't counter that, can you? How can you counter that unless you're wearing a right shield, bulletproof vest? I mean, yeah, that was a good trade, but I don't know. I felt like he should have died. I, I tweaked him before, clipped him with grenade, then went straight in, and yeah, I don't know. This has got a high recovery build, who knows. But this Shadow Price is nice playing it. I've just upgraded to 333. Um, I'm at 332, my character, and the highest drops I'm getting are 334. I've not had a 335 yet. I don't know what's going off. I just can't seem to get the damn things. Cannot seem to get the 335 drops, but what are you going to do about it, eh? What are you going to do about it? Um, I was doing the Prison of Elders week 4 yesterday and um, it's super abilities and uh, what was annoying is I, I, I deleted one of my exotics so I could get an exotic engram and I infused the Devouring Maw helmet now I had it's that one that drops from the tannic from the the strike um, with the big shanks at the end, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I, had that, I had that at 310 and then I, had, I got it dropped at 330 and I really like the look of that helmet and I actually deleted it and I'm a bit gutted because that helmet made very little difference in the long run. Uh, it was very annoying. So other than that, you know, all is good and well apart from, you know, I'll get it again. Hopefully I'll get it again. Uh, but it's one of those that you can't buy back because they're a limited drop. Same as the flyer cloaks. I did get a 335 Scion Fly Cloak from a Hunter, which will be infused into, um, you know, a different cloak. Uh, well, it depends how it looks. See, the Scion Cloaks, uh, they're, they're good ideas. Well, the holographic elements are cool, but I don't like how the hoods are, the helmets. Like, you know, it looks like you're wearing a, an umbrella on your head, we, you know. I don't know, just to make it looks a little bit off. Enemy captured. So, so what shotgun did I change to? I either changed to the Binary Dawn or her champion. The her champion shotgun is the Queen's one. But I've got to say, I'm loving the Shadow Price, guys. If anyone's got the Shadow Price, um, this is definitely one for the box. This is definitely one for the vault. You've got to keep this, keep upgrading it. It's just one of those solid weapons, and I don't think I've got the best roll on it. I mean, i got a good roll. can't remember exactly what it is. 
Um, but I can actually tell. I'll tell you now what my role is. Okay, so I got on my role. I got persistence. Um, this weapon grows more accurate the longer it is fired. I got speed reload. I got feather mag, so that's faster reload, reduced magazine size, but you get more stability and less range. And I got reinforced barrel, which massively increases your range. It gives you about a third extra on your range. It says it reduces stability, but only by a tiny amount. I haven't noticed anything. And then my last perk is glass, glass half full, so the bottom half of the magazine causes extra damage. So, you know, it'd be nice if I had more than 25 rounds in that clip if I had 60 rounds you know the last 30 of them start to increase and do damage that'd be awesome so I'm using the Baron's Ambition here uh, as the LMG I didn't used to like the look of these but it's a pretty nice uh, it's a pretty nice beefy looking it looks like a, an alien it looks like a monster doesn't it? it looks like something you don't want to mess with if you're walking around one of them, them in your arms it's just big and bulky and yeah it's like, it's like it fires 50 cal, 50 cal rounds or, or bigger. <laughs> right, but yeah, it looks like something you don't want to mess with. Ooh, take one out here. And I think I died from his grenade. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, what can you do? I can't complain. I use those. Now, I remember when those manacles first came in in year one, and I, I thought that I tried them out. And I thought, these are shit. These are terrible. No, yeah, who'd wear these? these are, what's going off here? These are crap. Um, turns out, no. We, few, I mean, the year one gauntlets did make them track, but I think they've made the tracking a lot bit better uh, or something because um, those grenades are certainly better. And the uh, the void build itself, the uh, drain build, is, is very good as well. And while people have gone for that generic drain build, there are several helmets that will allow you to have the drain build which is built into the helmets like the Ramas health drain built into it these the skull of Ahamkara or, or whatever it's called the helmet um, that has more efficient energy drain so those two you know if you, if you don't want more efficient energy drain you want your vortex to be bigger for example um, you can wear that helmet and you'll get because you've selected a bigger vortex, that helmet will give you the extended energy drain which normally you would need it to a pick. So I think that's really useful. So they made some so you can have essentially any of those builds, depending on what armor and um, arms and helmets you're wearing. So I think I think they've done a really good job here. Uh, the sunbreakers are great, they're really good. They just they they put a mag you know, playing control, they're gonna be brilliant. I've not played control yet with them but Getting one of those, getting one or two of those grenades on um, on a flag is going to be awesome. <clears throat> I don't, I didn't, I didn't use them here because I didn't actually have them here. So that's the only reason I didn't have them. Uh, I've had them for a while, but they've been to eighty. Um, I finally got the keeper's gloves off Varix, so I bumped them up to three thirty four because I've decided not to keep much of Varix's armor. The only thing I like from Varix's armor is the hunter helmet. Well, I deleted that because there weren't better helmets I wanted at a higher level. And I like his, the Warlock Cloak. It gives you all the Titan armor I don't like the look of. It looks like it's built from a scrap heap. And so does the Hunter stuff. And I know these are scavengers. The world's been destroyed. They are scavengers. They're supposed to hunt and they're supposed to scavenge. But still, it just, you know, I want my Guardian to look, you know, you know, I want, to have a, I want him to have prestige. I want him to look regal. Um, I want him to look like he is a guardian of light, not a guardian of the scrapyard alpha and the scrapyard of Earth. I oh got the scrapyard in the galaxy Milky Way. You know, I don't want him to be um, scrapyard master of this quadrant of the galaxy. So, suffice it to say, I want my guardians to look awesome. And that's why. That's why I don't understand some people's colour picks and choices on their uh, <laughs> when. <laughs> And some of the shaders they pick, I don't understand why they purposely think that that looks good. Maybe they're just joking with themselves. So we're trying Drake's Promise there again. I don't know. It seemed to work, a little bit delayed. I'm going to have to do some research into that. But I think the game's coming to an end. Um, I'm pretty sure we lose this one, yeah, by about 3,000. They always seem to show the ones we lose. And boy, I win so many, and I never get to. I forget to record the ones we do win. But anyway, YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and cheers.